suspicion of Ethan Allen, still employs a number of local residents. Started in 1895, the factory at one time was the largest furniture manufacturer east of Michigan. In recent years, competition from overseas has had an adverse impact on operations and the number of people employed at the factory has decreased. Although many changes face the factory, the state, local communities, and Ethan Allen are working together to ensure it remains open and a major employer in the area. Many people from Canaan started working at the factory at a young age and continue to for the remainder of their lives. The factory paid very well and offered many opportunities for its employees, including benefits and the chance to move up within the company. And then when I turned 16, I got a job at Ethan Allen Factory in Beecher Falls, 90 cents an hour. Which was, which was big money, you know, for me anyway, you yeah. know. What, what was your job there? <laughs> they gave me a good job. My first job was out in the yard. They would bring all the lumber out of the dry kill and put it in the yard. And you had to paint the ends of the boards green. Paint. Yeah. And these, these piles of lumber were probably 10, 15 feet high. And the foreman gave me a bucket of paint and a paintbrush and told me he wanted the ends of the boards painted on the front side and on the back side of the load. And then he left. Sixteen years old, I thought I knew everything. I grabbed that paint and that bucket. I went, <laughs> worked my way all the way to the top, put my way down, went to the other side, did the same thing. I had more paint on me than we did on the lumber. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell me, you know, you should go to the top and start down. Yeah. I started at the bottom, I paint and used my feet and hands to climb up. <laughs> what a mess. Yeah, yeah. Presently, the company has 310 stores and 21 manufacturing plants across North America. Ethan Allen is currently one of the largest furniture companies in America and generates over $1 billion in sales annually. The Beecher Falls factory specializes in bedroom furniture. The land not only gave the people trees to cut, but also fertile land to grow crops and herd animals. During World War II, um, quite a lot of the Canadian farmers would come down and buy up the farms which the Yankee farmers had given up on because they didn't have enough people to make them pay. And the Canadian farmers would come down with large families and they would, the first thing they would do would be to cut off the, the pulp wood yep. to pay off the farm. Yep. And then they would have all the good old Yankee traits of uh, industry and thrift and make those farms pay. And uh, so for quite a while we had some thrifty looking farms, but that has all declined and changed drastically in our lifetime, in the, since World War II. We, we, st we just have one real farm. Yeah. One, one real farm left in the town of Canaan now. Oh, yes. That's right. Yeah. And that's Bill Johnson's place down south of Canaan. And he's, he's taken over fields from the line, the Canaan Cobra, the Canaan Lemington line, right up to, the Can up to the Canadian line up here. Mm -hmm. He's taken over the fields, plant corn in. Mm -hmm. So yes. that's, a, that's a big change. That, all those fields are all corn now. At one point in Canaan's history, there were dozens of farms, but presently, there is a single farm that remains operational. The Johnson Farm is the prize farm in Canaan, generating milk for Cabot of Vermont.
Life in Canaan did not always revolve around working in fields and forests. The children of the community presently attend Canaan's K-12 high school. The first Canaan school burned in 1880 and in 1946 the present high school was constructed. The first high school basketball team was in 1915. Over the years, basketball, baseball, and soccer teams from Canaan have successfully competed with other teams in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Quebec. School athletics became a huge part of the community, and Canaan went on to win. Many state championships have been won, and town members take great pride in the accomplishments of their student athletes. Sports remain an integral part of the community as evidenced by the adult bowling and softball leagues that exist. For over 40 years, Canaan has hosted a major softball tournament the first weekend in August with over 25 teams from New Hampshire, Vermont, and Quebec participating. This event is a fine example of the can-do positive attitude that exists in the town of Canaan. The town of Canaan has undergone a number of changes. Family farms have disappeared, logging jobs have decreased, and tourism is now one of the major engines that drives the local economy. The Beecher Falls Furniture Factory, a division... question and I think what makes Canaan Canaan is that we all know each other. Everybody knows everybody and that's that's not a bad thing is it? No. <laughs> it's, it's not only Canaan, it's the area. It's mostly, we think of Canaan but I don't think Canaan just is the village, it's the whole area. It, for me anyway. I, you know it takes the uh, Norton and Wallace Pond, and mm -hmm. Beach, well, of course Beach Falls and Wallace Pond are part of Canaan anyway. But it's it's the whole area that makes Canaan. And I like to think that people are getting more aware of the fact that everything from, say, Norton to Errol, New Hampshire, and everything from Pittsburgh, New Hampshire to North Stratford, New Hampshire, including the Vermont side of the river, is all really one big neighborhood. Canaan has 225 years of history and is sure to require much more in years to come.